Hi guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizada with another tutorial on the Curio Control UTM configuration series. In this video, I will explain the antivirus submenu and their configuration menu. Let's start. First of all, open your laptop's web browser. Log into the Curio Control administration panel. Click on the configuration icon and then select antivirus from the menu. As Kirio is a next generation firewall and the overall idea of antivirus in the UTM or next generation firewall is to filter out and block certain types of traffic on the parameter of your network. Using the antivirus scanning in Kirio control will prevent the virus to reach out the endpoint antiviruses which is installed on the client computers. This antivirus scanning will remove the load from the endpoint securities which are installed on client computers and also adds an extra layer of security in your network. Let's start the configuration. As you can see that there is no antivirus running in my Kirio control because I do not have a license as it says here that you do not have a license for Kirio antivirus if you want an antivirus to be embedded with the Kirio control you have to purchase a license for that if your license does not have an antivirus with it you will not be able to use the antivirus of Kirio control using the Kirio antivirus you can scan the HTTP, FTP, SMTP and POP3 requests. Under the settings menu, enable this option. Here is specify the amount. For example, any type of file which is smaller than 512 KB will be automatically scanned by the antivirus of Kirio control. The next sub menu is HTTP and FTP scanning. Here you will specify that what Kirio control should do when a virus is found in the HTTP and FTP request. Here it says if a virus is found, you can alert the client. If you enable this option, first you have to enable the SMTP server in remote services. Then you can use this option to alert the client. I will not use the alert option, so let's disable it. Here it says that, well, for example, if a transfer file is encrypted or corrupted, what should Kirio control do with it? Here you can see that it will allow the transmission of the following files. I have enabled specific URLs, these type of files and any file using HTTP request from this rule will be automatically allowed whether it is corrupted or encrypted. You can also add a specific file name or a specific file type. Click on the add button. Here you have conditions whether you want the antivirus to scan by URL, by file name or by file type. First I will go with the HTTP URL. Any HTTP request which comes from www.firefox.com should be scanned. Click the OK button. Now the rule is added. Here you can see that the type of the scanning is HTTP URL. It will scan the HTTP request from Firefox.com and if the file is corrupt or encrypted, it will automatically allow transmission of the file. Now let's add a file type. Click on the Add button. Select file type from the condition type and and also select what type of file it should scan. It should scan archive file, audio file, or any type of file. I want executable files to be scanned. Select the file and click the OK button. The rule will be added. Now let's do an example for a file name. Click on the Add button. From the condition type, select file name and in the pattern, specify file name. For example, I want to scan all the files which names contain crack. You have to specify the name inside the historic. Click the OK button. 
Now Kiryu Control will scan all file names which contains crack. Let's head to the next sub menu which is email scanning. Under email scanning, it says that if a virus is found, Kiryu Control cannot drop the whole email message completely. But you can prevent the user to open the email. You can prepend the message with this subject, for example, virus. The email will be sent to the user, but you can advise the user to not open such emails which contains virus text in its subject. TLS connections are those connections which cannot be scanned by antivirus. But all you have to do is to allow the clients to use encrypted TLS connections. It will add an extra layer of security. Here you can specify an action for attachment that cannot be scanned. For example, if the attachment is corrupted or encrypted, what should Kiryu Control do with that specific attachment? Here I have specified that remove the attachment from the email message and only send the email to the client. The attachment should be removed. You can allow the delivery of the attachment. To prevent your network from virus attacks, uh, it's a good option that you remove the attachment from the email messages which are corrupted or encrypted. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. That's all for today. Till next video, have a nice time.